House Democrats just passed House Bill 1732 that arbitrarily pauses the Washington CARES payroll tax program for 18 months. In one sense, this is a loud and clear admission that the Washington CARES payroll tax program is flawed at all three stages, from the aggressive payroll tax on working families and low-income wage earners, to the restrictive investment strategy in treasuries, to the limited short-term benefit. While it does pause the program, it provides nothing to address the overall solvency of the program. There was a mixed vote on the program because it will hopefully provide the time for House Republicans to continue working on real solutions. Just prior to the debate on House Bill 1732, I made a procedural uh, motion to bring my legislation, House Bill 1594 to the House floor for consideration. The bill would repeal Washington CARES payroll tax program and give the legislature time to work on solutions and a solvent replacement that truly addresses long-term care costs in a meaningful and bipartisan way. That effort was defeated by House Democrats along party lines. Representative Drew Stokesbury made a similar motion for the House to consider his legislation, House Bill 1913, a repeal and replace option. It would replace the insolvent program with a reinsurance program that works with private industry to solve long-term care costs. That too was rejected by House Democrats along party lines. Both procedural efforts were defeated by House Democrats, a clear sign that there's no interest to work across the aisle in a bipartisan manner to address Washington CARES payroll tax or the insolvency issues. Following the passage of House Bill 1732, the pause of the Washington CARES payroll tax program, House Democrats brought a second bill, House Bill 1733 to the floor that creates more opt-outs. The opt-outs certainly address the concerns from the public. However, they make the program less and less solvent. House Democrats picked winners and losers in the sinking Washington CARES ship, knowing it's insolvent. House Republicans will continue to work on real solutions for long-term care, and we'll certainly be using the pause to voice our concerns over solvency. The light shined brightly on the different governing styles of the House Republicans and Democrats today. House Democrats shut down discussion and debate, while House Republicans want a Washington of ideas, where we discuss options, collaborate across the aisle, communicate openly, and most importantly, find real solutions together.